So here we're going to go over affinity chromatography. But to quickly recap, what is chromatography itself? So chromatography is essentially a technique used within biochemistry and within biology to separate molecules within a mixture so that we can identify uh, for qualitative and quantitative analysis and essentially for purification. So specifically, there are different types of chromatography, but here we're going to understand affinity chromatography, which is essentially taking a mixture of molecules and separating a desired molecule of interest based on specific reversible interactions between the molecule of interest and a ligand. So we know that within uh, you know, cells, there are molecules that specifically interact with another molecule. They form those interactions, such as, you know, enzyme substrate interactions that are very specific. Now, we can exploit that for affinity chromatography, and essentially what we're doing is that we're utilizing a column. Now, within this column, we're going to have a matrix. It's going to be an inert matrix, and it can be made up of various uh, different components. It could be agarose, silica, polyacrylamide, so forth. And essentially, within our column, we have that inert matrix, and then we have these beads, which we can refer to as these uh, insoluble support beads that bind to the ligand itself. And the ligand is going to be specific to the molecule we are trying to isolate. Because let's say we are trying to isolate uh, molecule X and molecule X we know interacts with molecule Y to form an XY complex. So in that case, if I want to isolate molecule X, the ligand is going to be Y. And when I add in the X, the X and Y will interact with one another, whereas everything else is going to flow through the column. So going over here, the matrix will have the ligand, so the matrix will have that ligand bound to that uh, support bead. And when the mixture is added, the mixture of different molecules is added to the top of the column, the desired protein or the desired molecule that we are trying to isolate is going to interact with the ligand, whereas everything else is going to flow through the column. So here we have our support bead, and this is just our specific ligand. So let's look at this example where we have this mixture of different molecules and let's say we're specifically trying to isolate this green molecule over here. Now we're going to add that mixture to the top of the column and we're going to continually add in a buffer solution to keep everything flowing. And as everything keeps flowing, we will notice that all the other molecules will elute out of the column, but the green molecules will interact with the ligand because this ligand is specific for this green molecule and they will form that interaction with one another. Now we'll have a beaker placed at the bottom and the initial beaker will contain those other molecules that we don't really want and all that wash buffer. Now let's say we, we have washed everything out and now we want to elute out our molecule of interest. How do we get these interactions to unbind so we can have our green molecules? There's two ways to do that. So first, we can either add in a molecule that has a higher affinity for that ligand. So if it has a higher affinity for that ligand, it's going to form an interaction with the ligand, whereas the green molecule will now be removed out of the column. Or we can take a molecule that has a higher affinity for the green molecule, and it's going to go and bind with the green molecule and elute it out of the column. So those are the two ways. You can either add in a molecule with high affinity for the ligand, or you can add in a molecule with a high affinity for the molecule itself and elute it out uh, from the column. So then when you have your final sample, you have to bear in mind that it's going to contain uh, whatever molecule you use to elute it out. It's going to uh, contain your desired molecule of interest, and it's going to contain any buffer solution that you used. And that is essentially affinity chromatography. It's that technique where you are separating uh, your molecule of interest based off of specific reversible interactions between a molecule of interest and its ligand.